this video, I'll be covering fresh travel tech from the past few weeks because it's Fresh Tech Tuesday, Volume 1. Fresh Tech, Fresh Tech, Fresh Tech. Yes, welcome to this monthly show on the first Tuesday of the month here on The Tech Packer. I'm Saab Johal and let's get straight on to the first item this week. And we cannot do anything but start with Insta360's latest camera, the Ace and Ace Pro. Yes, so good. Like New York, they named it twice. It's actually two versions of the same camera, but the Pro getting the super sexy deluxe Leica lens which apparently is absolutely stunning in low light. Now I'm only gonna cover this briefly because I'm hoping to get hold of one myself soon. Watch out for videos on that. But in a nutshell, Insta360 always nails it with their specialist cameras like the 360 degree ones, teeny tiny miniature cams, and a high fidelity webcam too. The missing piece was a GoPro style action cam, but now we have the Insta360 Ace Pro. The Ace and Ace Pro has the same blocky shape as GoPro's Hero series and is priced similarly to the Hero 12 Black, but it's got some cool features like Leica branding, 8K recording, and a flip up touchscreen. Will this be enough to outcompete and gobble up a large slice of GoPro's market share pie? The biggest difference is probably the touchscreen. Insta360 gave the Ace Pro a 2.4 inch rear display that tilts up to 180 degrees. This is perfect for vlogging, taking selfies, or adjusting tricky angles on bike handlebars. Even though it's really useful, this feature might, might make the camera more susceptible to damage. It'll be interesting to see how it fares out in the wild. The cool AI highlights assistant analyzes videos and makes highlight reels that you can edit yourself. While not for everyone, it's excellent for quickly sharing clips with friends and family. And there's even in-camera AI enhancements too. It's an exciting little cam and it looks like it could be a must-have for many travelers in 2024. Okay, next up, Apple have upgraded their MacBook lineup now with M3 as well as M2 and M1 processors. That's quite a choice you have there if you're in the market for a new MacBook. But don't let that fool you because even though there are new shiny MacBooks, MacBook Airs and MacBook Pros available, my best choice for most travelers might surprise you because I've gone for the MacBook Air M1. For most people, this is gonna be plenty enough. The MacBook Air M1 is an affordable option for those on tight budgets at 999 US dollars, often on a deal for less. It has a beautiful 13.3 inch retina display and weighs just 2.8 pounds. The laptop is silent due to passive cooling and has a comfortable keyboard and trackpad. That M1 chip offers impressive responsiveness and battery life lasting 16 hours and 20 minutes. It's a great deal if you're not a creative professional or some other kind of power user. For mere travel mortals like you and me, the M1 MacBook Air is a great option right now. Check out my full rundown of the best MacBooks available right now and who they're suited for. The link is in the video description. Next up, hey, Layla, find me some beaches that look like this picture of the Bahamas that doesn't need me to rob a bank to pay for the flights and hotel and make it not too crowded either. That's what you might be saying to choose your next holiday spot with the AI-powered assistance of Layla. Let me back up a little and explain what's going on. For those who don't know, Beautiful Destinations already has millions of followers on Instagram and is like the go-to place for the next generation of travelers. The founder of Beautiful Destinations, Jeremy Jauncey, believes that his startup, including the free-to-use Layla app, is the future of travel. Layla founders noticed a trend after the pandemic where people were choosing where to travel based on Instagram and TikTok. This inspired the idea for Layla, which launched on November 29th to a small group. Layla allows users to discover places to go, book their travel and accommodation, and learn about destinations all in one place. Jauncey has amassed a community of over 50 million followers 1,500 creators, and millions of pieces of travel content 
over 10 years. That's the content and data. Layla combines inspiring travel videos and AI powered language models to help you figure out where to go, stay and have fun while traveling. Layla uses its special technology to help you find your next travel spot and easily plan and book trips using those amazing videos and personalized itineraries. That's the theory anyway. I haven't played around too much with it yet, but be sure to stay tuned because I'm going to tell you all about it here on the Tech Packer, because that's what this place is all about, curating the best travel gear, gadgets and experiences so you don't have to. Bridging the gap between social media discovery and amazing places and planning and booking looks like a lucrative place to be if they can pull it off. The Layla app is now available on iOS and Android. Check the video description for links. The next one is not a new one, but it's fast becoming a must have in today's world. It's small, cheap, and can help you stay safe and secure in this travel world when you are hungry for power. USB data blockers let you charge your devices from other people's USB ports, including charging kiosks, without the risk of their accessing your phone's data or infecting it with malware. PorterPal invented the first data blocker in the UK in 2013, and these are now used by governments of the USA, Canada, UK, and New Zealand, as well as many corporations around the world to secure their devices. The PorterPal lets you charge your phone or other USB device from a USB port without worrying about accidental data transfer or malware infection. And unlike some others, it won't limit your charging speed. That's pretty critical when you're on the move and you want a gulp of power for your battery rather than being forced to sip slowly. The built-in smart charge chip switches between Apple, Universal and Samsung standards to ensure it can charge your device at up to 2.4 amps. The PorterPal is also the only data blocker to physically show that it's blocking data. Check out other features in the link in the video description. Next, here's a specially adapted 360 camera that's really going places. And I mean, really. I mean, like this is the longest selfie stick fake drone shot you're ever going to see. It took Insta360 a whole year with six months of research and development to tweak their retail cameras for space. The launch was originally planned for 2022, but it got pushed back because of the pandemic until earlier this year. Insta360 engineers performed thousands of tests on their cameras to get them space ready. They had to make sure the technology could handle extreme heat and cold because the satellites would go from minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit to 122 degrees Fahrenheit depending upon where they were. The engineers also made sure the cameras were radiation and vibration proof, which was especially important for that launch. The project runs on hard work and a fair bit of luck too, Insta360 said. Space can be unpredictable and there is no backup hardware or software if the camera runs into any issues. Luckily, both cameras and their sensors are still fully functioning and offer an incredible look at outer space. The cameras on the satellites circle the planet every 90 minutes or so and will be active for two years. After that, they're set to leave Earth's orbit and burn up in space. I think you're gonna like this video next. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Make sure you don't miss the next one. Travel easy, travel light, and I'll see you out there.